Oh, glad to be back. Glad to be back. Uh, everybody's moving around good, so happy to be back. We like him more now because we know the person now. We know the player, we see the player on film, but the person, his work ethic, what he talks about off the field, that's what we like about him. And, you know, just can't wait to get him going more, get him in the pads and just see him progress. No, we're just gonna let that take care of itself. Uh, you know, there's no timetable on it. We'll just let him go. He's really getting a bunch of good mental reps now. That's important for a young player uh, to get the mental reps. And he's standing beside Coach Gilbert and Coach Sutton, myself, and he's getting mental reps. So it's good for him. Well, this uh, this spring, we saw him come in, uh, saw his production in college, and then just the mental part of the game. He's playing uh, real fast for a young guy and just can't wait to see once the pad get on, just uh, see him go out there and do what he's supposed to do. One production, two, just when you talk to people around the league, his former coaches, how smart and how detailed he was. And we always want a guy that stands in front of the huddle that's a natural leader. And, you know, you can put him in, you can put anybody in front of the huddle, but if they're not that leader, the guys aren't going to really follow them. But he's a guy that throughout his career, he's been that one that you look to or teams have looked to. And once he got here, you you just saw it. Uh, he stepped in front of the huddle, commanded it. He communicates well. So, you know, we're happy. It's really the green dot is it's just my way to communicate to someone on the field. You can put it uh, and you typically want somebody that's on the field three downs and we anticipate our inside linebacker or safety being on the field three downs. So that's still, you know, we can put that on anybody. But normally it's a guy that stands in front of the huddle, makes a call so he can be the I guess a communicator on the field. Sit back and you watch him. A great acquisition for us this uh, off season. And with his injury, he was able to walk through, but not be able to get on the field. Now getting him on the field, seeing his movement is uh, really good for us. And for the other guys to be able to see him and just see what he brings to the team. It's really, uh, I don't think I see it as a challenge. We have to get the guys acclimated because the thing about it is you want them to come back and Again, we talk about it, it's a process. It's not, yeah, we play a game in four days, but again, the ultimate game is opening day. So we're trying to build for that, you know, putting ourselves in pads. We'll get enough uh, working pads. Coach Peterson, uh, I understand he has a plan for what we're going to do, and we're going to follow the plan and, you know, hit it full speed. I think it is. It's a sign of him being a leader, a good teammate, and also being the man he is. Again, no, however you got here, you're here, now you're in Jacksonville you can help us. So we're going to try to get everything we can out of you. So again, he's a guy that's been through it. He understands it. So he's able to spill his knowledge onto the young guys and they're gravitating to him. Oh, it was good. In that defensive line room, there's characters and you got a bunch of leaders and he's one of the guys. Again, you never can have enough leaders and we're lucky enough to have a group of guys that have played in the league, understand what it takes to play in the league and they're able to talk to the young guys and help us out in that aspect. We'll find out on game day. Again, talk, talking about it, talk about leadership. Uh, he's a guy, he's been here, he understands he's been to other places. So he's a guy that the young guys can look to. And, All right, how'd you do this? What'd you see here? And he's happy to instill his knowledge and share his knowledge with the young guys. So pleased with that.